All right, what's going on, guys? I'm bringing you the first competitive video, at least for uh, Ghost that I've put up. I I wasn't really following competitive really that much in the beginning of Ghost. Really, I just wanted to focus on YouTube because this is the first year that I've been able to really like focus on YouTube and get the game early and actually like you know put effort into it at the beginning of the game because usually I've been I've had like school and stuff or I haven't been at home and you know I finally you know had the year to do it so I was just really trying to focus on YouTube but I've gotten into competitive a little bit now you know nowhere near as what I was doing in Black Ops 2 so I feel like I would just I wanted to just you know give my general opinions about it on this game and kind of talk about Columbus as well because that was last weekend I think but uh, yeah what you guys are gonna be watching is an ace gameplay this is the only like competitive gameplay I have um because there's no league play obviously in this game uh, the whole clan v clan 4v4 shit is stupid it's it's public match rules so i will not be fucking with that that's pretty dumb um and then you know i haven't really done any scrims or anything like that pretty much the only like experience i have with competitive in this game is just eights so but yeah, nevertheless um you know that gives me a pretty decent you know feel for how it's gonna work out in this game and i watched columbus a little bit so you know i, ha I have starting to get into it a little bit and uh, as you know the months go on i'll probably get into it a little bit more because i am enjoying it um which is surprising because i didn't think i was going to but yeah so in this um i think i dropped 34 i dropped 15 in the first half and then 19 in the second half and also if you guys don't know what eights are basically it's like a pickup scrim um you know you get two captains in a lobby pick your teams and then you guys just play it's not anything like super serious just just practice basically so yeah anyways um first let me talk about mlg columbus so it was the last weekend, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. It might be the weekend before. I don't know. I watched I watched it for a couple hours over like the three days. Um and also it was it was it was a good event. I don't know. I wasn't expecting it to be that entertaining, but it was actually more entertaining than I thought it would be. Um coming into Ghost, because Ghost it's just a not it's not that fun of a game to play and it's really not that much fun to watch either, but it definitely surpassed my expectations, so that was pretty cool. But anyways, uh, about the placings and stuff, so Complexity won, which I guess, like, <laughs> to be expected, I guess. Um, you know, continuing their ghost dominance right off where they left off in uh, Black Ops 2. And then TK got second, I believe Just Us got third, Unite got fourth, and we got fifth. So that was, like the, like, the top five right there. And then the surprises, um, you know... Envy, Envy and Curse LV and Optic were probably the three, like, upsets. Uh, Envy placing fifth is not that much of an upset, but I had Envy in my top three. Um, I mean, they probably would have been top three. Envy just happened to have the misfortune of playing Complexity before some of the other teams. So, um, you know, that's just, you know, the downfalls of the bracket system. But anyways, um, you know, Curse LV placed 9th through 12th, which actually surprised me, like, a lot. Um, they were, I had them, Envy, and Complexity in my top three, and, you know, for them to place out of the top eight is pretty like disappointing, especially for the team that they have. It's you know it's Parasite, Stainville, Nameless, and Miracles. So I don't know. I had them. I had a lot of people had them winning. They were looking really strong, but I don't know. They, they just didn't you know show up at the event. So that was pretty weird. And then Optic obviously placing all the way in 13th through 16th. That was also pretty weird. I'm not really sure what happened there. I'm not even gonna talk about that. I'm sure. I I don't think they'll be placing that low again. I don't know, that's just like unacceptable for them. But anyways, um, Envy, I thought Envy was actually really good. You know, they they took complexity all the way to the last map, to the last round too, I'm pretty sure, if I remember it co correctly. But um, they just couldn't pull it out at the end. So it was close games between them. And then TK also had close games with complexity. So complexity didn't dominate this tournament like they did, you know, in Black Ops 2. Um, they had to pull out some close wins. And basically... The thing about this is, it's kind of weird because in Black Ops 2, Complexity's worst game mode was Search and Destroy, but in in, uh, in Ghost, they didn't drop a single Search and Destroy the entire tournament. So that's pretty weird that they've kind of like switched from a S and D team or from a respawn team to a S and D team. And you know, Complexity they win their searches, they win to some of the DOMs, but they're not very good at Blitz. I'm not even sure if they even like won any Blitzes against like the top eight teams. So I don't know. Um, they need to work on their Blitz, and then they're going to be like a really like dominant team again. But anyways. That's pretty much all I got to say about Columbus. Uh, it was a pretty solid event. It was a lot more entertaining than I thought it was going to be. And, uh, yeah, Complexity looks like they're the best team once again in, in Ghosts. Um, I don't know if anyone's going to dethrone them, you know. someone. I'm sure eventually someone will, but uh, at the moment, I'm not really sure. Um, if it's going to be anyone, it'll probably be TK. Because, um, you know, TK is just that team that they're always placing, like, top three top four they're, they just can't seem to you know get that win so um i'm sure they'll they'll beat them one of these days but anyways let's talk about i want to talk about actually like competitive itself now so um there's three game modes obviously so there's search there's blitz and there's dom 
Um, at the moment, my favorite is Dom, and then well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say my favorite to play. My favorite to watch is actually Blitz. Let me just get that out there right out of the way right now. In uh, in Columbus, Blitz matches were actually the most entertaining, which was pretty weird. Um, so yeah, but my favorite to play is Domination by far, and then it's Blitz, and then obviously you guys know I don't really like Search. Although Search in this game is a lot better than it was in Black Ops 2. I like Search in this game. I don't know. I don't know why that is, but I, I kind of like in this game. I, it might just be the game in general, like you die so quickly and stuff. Um, I kind of like that about this game. But anyways, let me talk a little bit about D Dom is Dom. Like everyone knows what Dom is, you know. It's, it's a standard game I've been there since the beginning of Call of Duty, and I guess that's kind of why I like it, because, um, you know, I already know how to play it, like, I don't need, there's no learning curve for Dom, because everyone already knows what you need to do in Dom, as there is for, like, a game mode like Blitz, because that's, you know, that's a new game mode, you need to learn the game mode and stuff, um, you know, kind of like in Black Ops 2, you know, people didn't know how to correctly play Hardpoint until, like, six months into the game, that's when people, like, learned everything there was to know about Hardpoint, and I'm sure it's going to be like that for Blitz as well, you know, everyone's learning as the game goes on, so, um, also I feel like playing Blitz it's it's a lot of like rotating back and defending your flag and stuff it gets kind of boring I, I don't know it's just it seems like if you really want to win blitz you you have to like play so smart whereas like i don't know i kind of just like to run around and get kills to be honest like i don't know that's kind of like dom but anyways um let me talk a little bit about well actually yeah let me talk about this so one thing i will say about blitz is they need to fix this um this is like a major flaw in blitz so the way they have blitz um right now is you play two rounds five minute rounds and then if you're tied, you play one overtime round, which is really bad. And the reasoning is this. So the way overtime works in Blitz is you play one round, first one of three caps wins, or, you know, whenever the time runs out, the, first, the one with the most caps wins. But the problem with that is that in every map, there's a good side and there's a bad side. So one team is always going to have the advantage in overtime simply because there's only one round. So what they need to do is implement two rounds of overtime in Blitz, just like it was in Black Ops 2, Capture the Flag. You know, you played both sides of overtime capture the flag and you, you know you went by time limit so like the way they could do it in blitz is you do like this so either so say you get your three caps then they do it by time limit so now the other team has to get three caps in a shorter time than you got your three caps right or they do it by you know most caps so say you beat them two to one so now the other team has to get um more than a one flag win if you get what i'm saying so they have to beat you like one oh or they also have to beat you two one or they have to beat you three two you know what i'm saying um so I don't know if that makes sense, but I just think that it would be more fair and uh, better for, you know, competitive Blitz to have two overtime rounds. I don't know, I just don't think it's fair to only have one round, and I think, I don't know, that's what a lot of the pros are saying as well, and it makes sense. And I think they should implement that, that in pubs, too. I'd love to have an extra five, even ten minutes in there to trap them. I could be dropping, like, 300 kill games. But anyways, thank you guys um, so much for watching. That's pretty much all I got to really about say about um, Blitz. I almost ended the video right now. <laughs> I realized I need to talk for another minute. Um... One last thing I'll talk about, I guess, is Stalker. So, there was a huge thing um, before the game came out about Stalker, whether people wanted Stalker, whether people didn't want Stalker. It was about 50-50, um, either way. I personally, when I hear that, you know, before I had ever played the game competitively and I heard that, I was like, yeah, of course I want Stalker in the game. Um, but now that I've played it, it's not that big of a factor. I thought it was going to be a bigger deal, but it's really not that big of a deal, to be honest. Um, I think what Stalker does is it makes it a completely AR-based game. And since, you know, there's no stalker, I think SMGs are more viable. And I guess that increases, you know, the excitement of the game. It makes it more fast-paced if more people are running SMGs. But with stalker, I think, I mean, that if you that also increases, you know, the, uh, the pace of the game. Because, you know, when you have an AR, you're more willing to get into gunfire. Or at least I'll speak for myself. I'm more willing to, you know, push up and, um, you know, not position myself well sometimes just simply because i know i have stalker and you know i can just outgun someone purely based on gun skill and stuff due to having stalker whereas if you don't have stalker it's it's more of a positioning game than it is a gun skill type game so i don't know that's my opinion on stalker i would love stalker to be in there but it's not really that big of a deal i've played without stalker now and um it doesn't make that much of a difference but it would be cool to have i don't i don't think it's it's a negative thing um especially since i'm more of an ar player anyway um, I guess if I was an SMG player, I wouldn't want Stalker in the game. I don't know. Um, it's a personal preference, but uh, either way, it works out fine. So anyways, I, I think I can end the video now. Yeah, all right, now it's been 10 minutes. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like or any if you enjoyed. Leave me any comments. you got any questions or stuff like that below. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I dropped 34 in this if you add up both uh, the rounds, which I'm pretty sure that's how you're supposed to do it. But anyways, that is it for the video, guys. Um, have a good day, and peace out.